G'day, g'day, I'm Tegan and thank you so much for watching my channel. So far in this series, I've decided to buy a house in Italy completely remotely, shared why I chose Italy in the Salento region in Puglia and why I didn't choose a one euro home. Since then, I've done what you can buy for 10 to 50,000 euro and also for 50 to 100,000. Today, I'm going to take you through several different properties that are currently for sale online between 105,000 euros and 550,000 euros in the Salento region. And some of these properties are absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. I can't wait to show you. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell so that you get notified when my next video comes out. G'day, g'day, my name's Tegan and I'm buying a house in Italy that I've never actually seen, in a place I've never been to, via somebody I've never even met, with a room that doesn't seem to exist. Click subscribe to follow my journey. I'm so excited to share these properties with you. If this is your budget, then you're going to be spoilt for choice. Our budget doesn't quite stretch this far, but I love to look at these properties for inspiration of how I want to renovate the property I end up buying. So let's get started into looking at historic buildings we can currently buy in the Salento region of Puglia, Italy for €105,000 to €550,000, which equates to approximately $113,000 to US dollars, or in Aussie dollars or Australian dollars, that's about one hundred and fifty-seven to 753000 Remember, I'm not a property expert. These are just my personal opinions and the process I go through when I'm looking at Italian properties online, plus a few little tips along the way. Now, you'll need to do your own research, and I highly, highly recommend getting yourself a property finder like we did with Davide Mengele from Salento with Love. Okay, let's take a look at this first house. Okay, our first property is a fully renovated property in the little town of Rafano. And Rafano is here on the heel of the boot. Let's have a look. It's 120,000 euros, 75 square meters, and already fully renovated. You don't need to spend a cent. It's got a lovely backyard, perfect for those Salento summer evenings, entertaining friends, nice pool. Beautifully done. I really love these flowers. So if someone can tell me what that plant is, I definitely want that. And it looks like they've kept the, the original, beautiful traditional trough and these look like original flooring as well. So they've really kept the history of the property, but um, decorated it beautifully, renovated it beautifully. So inside again, they've kept the traditional style of the Italian uh, kitchens. This looks like it may be the original uh, kitchen basin or sink. And also the floors look original as well. They've done the barn door here, which I absolutely love. Really tastefully decorated, keeping the tradition as well and it's nice balance with the, the modern. And they've actually, um, looks like one bedroom in there and there's, they've lofted it as well. So nice little stairs going up to the loft. And I love these barn doors on rollers. And this is the loft upstairs. So you've got a bedroom upstairs, beautiful window. I love that furniture too. Nice, nicely done. Gorgeous mirror in the bathroom. Huge hand basin. I don't know if this is upstairs bedroom downstairs bedroom it might be the downstairs bedroom perhaps um, nice chandelier once again these lovely barn doors they've carried through bathroom or ensuite and that's it for that one so um, in the historic center of Rafano beautiful courtyard two bedrooms large living area and private garden so that's what you can get for 120,000 euro. Ready to move in, absolutely done. The next one is a property in Galatina, 150,000 euro, and it's 180 square meters. Now this one is 150,000, but it's also listed for 120,000. So always good to do your research. And in the heart of the historic center. Okay, let's have a look at it. 
Now it's completely upstairs. So it goes from this end all the way across here. I know that property there too. So beautiful street. It's at a, an intersection of um, streets. So lots going on. Love the, um, the balconies. And this is inside, so you've actually got, it's in really good condition. You've got barrel vault ceilings, which they've chosen to expose. So you can see the beautiful stone style vaults as well. It's in excellent condition, even though you can't really see, the photos aren't brilliant. It does have a bathroom, looks in reasonable condition. Looks like traditional floors. Ah, oh, an original kitchen that's been brought back to life. Absolutely stunning. So that's what you can get for um, 150,000 or 120,000 euro. Obviously it's open for negotiation and it's in the heart of Salento. So it's in the historic center right about here. Okay, the next one, now this is super special. You can actually purchase for 195,000 euro part of a castle or castle, depending on where you went to school. And this is in a little town called Stanatia. And it date back, dating back to the 700s. Wow. <laughs> um, two wells in Lecce stone. Portion of the building is the first floor um, close to the square. So from inside the courtyard. Wow. Okay, let's have a look at your castle. <laughs> Alrighty, this is the courtyard, in, internal courtyard. This is the front of the castle. Look at that entrance. Can you imagine saying that you actually live here? How cool would that be? And it's only 195,000 euro. Like if that's in your budget, why wouldn't you? Now it does need renovation. This is the back entrance and this is inside. And I do believe it's these rooms up here. So it's 370 square meters. So it's it's huge, it's seven rooms, and it's your little piece of history. So it's, um, it needs work, it needs renovation, obviously. It needs substantial renovation. So it is original um, in its original condition. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that in the daytime, just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Can you imagine saying you could be a princess in your castle? <laughs> Obviously, you could renovate it. You could um, Airbnb the rooms. You could, um, you know, turn into a little hotel potentially. Um, you'd have to speak to, to them and see what you're actually able to do. But, oh, goodness me, I'd just love to live there. Wouldn't that just be so wonderful? This looks like a, a, um, it's been closed in, so you'd have a nice chimney there. Here's one of the wells in the courtyard. You've got some fresco going on, so much there. So stunning, so much potential with these doors, those stairs that have been worn away for hundreds and hundreds of years. So you can actually own a little piece of a castle, a big piece, 370 square meters. And this is where it's not far from Lecce, which is great. And the Brindisi airport is up here. So um, you could have part of, own, be an owner of a palazzo. <laughs> So the next one for 250,000 is a penthouse right smack bang in the heart of Galatina. Now it's the historic center, it's the, the plaza, it's where it, all the action happens and it's nine rooms, 160 square meters and it's actually this top level here. And um, what else can I tell you? The part I love about this is it's right in the center and let me show you, sorry. This is inside, it's in beautiful condition. Oh, I love that hanging, wall hanging, gorgeous. You look out on the piazza and this is where, sorry, I'll just go back. Um, this is where everything happens in summer. So all the, there's, there's markets here regularly, there's um, so much going on. Bathroom. Kitchen, might need a bit of renovation there. <laughs> One of the bedrooms. So it's been lived in, it's, um, it's in wonderful condition. Just looking at that piece of artwork on the wall. Wow. Oh, look at this exquisite piece of furniture. Goodness me. Oh, can't 
can't wait. I'm so, <laughs> so looking forward to uh, finding these little gems of pieces of fern um, antique furniture. Stunning, absolutely beautiful. So this is your balcony up here as well, looking out onto the square. Just imagine the summers, Salento summers with everything going on. And this is your view. Can you imagine waking up in the morning and walking out with your morning coffee? And this is the view that you look at. It doesn't get more Italian than that. <laughs> so exciting. So that's what you get for um, 250,000 euro right in the heart of Galatina and um, 160 square meters, nine rooms. Let's have a look at another one now. And this one's one of my favorites. It's 350,000 euro and it's in the heart of Galatina and it's 690 square meters. And what I love about this is the fresco. I mean, that is just stunning, absolutely stunning. And um, here's another one in another room in one of the star vaults. So beautiful. Now this is the entrance to the property. And I do believe you've got um, access on three streets and the walls are in really good condition there. Stunning. You could do so much with this property and it's got 11 rooms. So you could turn it into so many different things. It does have an original kitchen, which you could do up like the other one that was brought back to life. Obviously the ceiling needs a bit of work, but that is in such good condition for an original kitchen feature. Beautiful. Gorgeous old doors. Now, obviously, it does need extensive renovation. Barrel vault ceilings. Oh, imagine the dresses that hung from these. <laughs> Looks like they've put a new roof on this section. Speaking of roofs, the ceiling, the rooftop would need a lot of work. Um, just needs to be brought back to life and then maintained. It's one of the street views and so on. 690 square meters, so much that you can do with it. Imagine the little finds that you would find in there. <laughs> and that's the actual property. So uh, one, two, three street, um, street entrances. floor plans and that's it so this one is um, right in the heart of Galatina 350,000 euro and those frescoes I mean sorry that's just worth it <laughs> and this one here right at the other end is 510,000 euro it's again in the heart of Galatina um, via Cavour and this property I actually is upstairs here and the entrance here is the garden but I also know that the downstairs is for sale for I believe it's 110,000 euro so you could um, pay a little bit more and get the whole building and it's got access on three sides I'm not sure what happens here at the back it might be connected to a building there but you've got access on three sides freestanding there 353 square meters just the upstairs area downstairs you'd have to find that um that for sale and have a look at how big that is. And it's 14 rooms, been beautifully renovated and ready to go, move into straight away. So let's have a look and to show you where it is, Via Cavour, one of my favorite streets right here. So little walk to the Piazza along one of the most beautiful streets, Via Giuseppe Lillo, and that's where it is. So let's have a look at the property itself. Nice balcony, <gasps> looks like a little church. It's actually on the other side of it. So that's on one side. So yeah, one, two, three, three sides there. So it's upstairs, <gasps> stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Now, this is one way to renovate is to make absolutely everything white. So you would have a clean canvas to put whatever decorations and colors you want into it. The property has um, been immaculately renovated and they've just gone white, 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 which just is stunning. So many books. <laughs> Kitchen, original there potentially. 
bathroom. Oh, I love the art pieces. Obviously, they probably don't come with the property, <laughs> but you never know. With a lot of properties, you know, the, the furniture actually you can negotiate and it comes with it especially for properties that have already been utilised as um, B&Bs as well. I'm not sure if this one has or not. Looks more like somebody's home, someone with exquisite taste. Love this basin. Beautiful bathroom. Feature wall there. A little bit of a loft space for reading. Bedroom looking out onto the balcony. <gasps> Imagine the Salento summer evenings. Just wandering out, sitting on the balcony, having an aperitif. Goes upstairs to the rooftop. Rooftop is huge. Actually got an original little um, water thing here. Looks out over the church. You could put some beautiful plants there, sun decks, sun beds, pardon me. This is the floor plans. So 14 rooms, 353 square metres. And that's that property for 510,000 euro. Now I've got one more to show you that isn't, isn't within this price range, but the reason I wanna show it to you is because of the way it's been decorated to give you some inspiration. Now it's 880,000 euro, 780 square meters and 18 rooms. But what I love about this property is this. It's completely different to that last one, which was completely white. And it just gives you some different ideas of what you can do in regards to renovation, exquisitely decorated, Absolutely beautiful. This is the entrance. Can you imagine the horse and cart going along the cobblestones here and um, dropping off, you know, the people and they walk up the stairs to their home. Ah, the wrought iron work. Absolutely gorgeous. And look at this stonework. <gasps> Takes my breath away, this property. <laughs> that light coming in. Can you imagine this being your home? Um, wouldn't it just be amazing? Or have it as a hotel and uh, you can stay there anytime. Look at that. The stairs, <gasps> handrails, the doors. They've done a beautiful job of renovating this. I love the tiles in this bedroom, in this room, pardon me, and the mirror as well. <laughs> They've really worked well with the traditional and balancing it with the modern. So I'm just sharing you this to show you, look at that gorgeous door, to show you what's possible. Um, wow, look at that kitchen, loving this bench. And how you can actually balance, you know, the modern with the traditional and really keeping the history of the property, but then, you know, giving it, giving it a bit of a modern touch as well. So and there's so many photos of this property, so I won't um, keep going. Oh, look at that bathroom. It's a really interesting tile, isn't it? Oh, look at that candelabra. I could, I, could do, I could just look at this property for hours and hours. So um, just sharing it with you for some inspiration and to show you what's possible and in regards to renovation. And I hope it's inspired you a little bit and to see what you can actually do. Okay, that's it for properties in this price point today. I hope you enjoyed these little tours and it's given you some idea as to what you can get for 105,000 euros to 550,000 euros in the Salento region of Italy. Or maybe it's given you some inspiration for your own property renovation. There certainly were some beautiful ones there. <laughs> Don't forget, if you like this video, give it the thumbs up and let me know in the comments below which of these properties was your favourite. Pretty hard to choose, right? <laughs> now, in my next video, I'll be talking to you about the pros and cons of hiring a property finder to help you in purchasing your dream home in Italy. If you'd like to see that video, then be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when it comes out. Okay, ciao for now and thank you again for watching. I'm loving sharing this journey with you. See you in the next video.